page hypertext in 3D. <coughs> now the 3D is not logically required, but it's very helpful. Oh, let's let's fly through the connections. That's nice. With a fresher machine, this would uh, be smoother. So, you see that we can have a profusion of connections, but on the other hand, it's hard to follow them. And that's why we have two pages up front. That's what these guys are for. <coughs> so these two pages up front, so I don't want to overshoot. Good. <coughs> these two pages up front are the current page, which is, has larger type, and a companion page. And with this method of presentation, we can show you one connection at a time, even though there are thousands of connections on top of each other. So th right now the connection we're seeing is between this transclusion quotation, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and its origin in Genesis of the King James translation. Now, <coughs> there are two types of connection in the system, links and transclusion, which is a vital distinction to make. Transclusion means the same content across document aversion boundaries. So quotation is an example of transclusion. Now, I mentioned Van Nevar Bush before and his uh, piece, As We Will Think, As We May Think. Everyone takes that as the origin of links. It's not. It's the origin of transclusion. <laughs> because each of, tr each of Bush's trails was the same content uh, put on the trail. This is a crucial distinction in the Xanadu world because the two are implemented in different ways. We can make the companion page into the current page. <coughs> and back again. We can go down to the next connection. Here we have Adam and Lilith immediately began to fight. Some, you've all heard of Adam and Eve. Some of you have heard of Adam and Lilith. But we won't get into that right now. <coughs> so that's another transclusion.